have you seen this article where El Moss thinks that he could transport individuals from East Coast to the West Coast in four to five minutes? He has a vehicle that will travel 4,000 miles an hour. This thing is modeled on um, the vacuum that is used in banks to you know, move your monies from the teller to the deposit upstairs or wherever. And the way to analyze this thing here, it sounds very, you know, pie in the sky and stuff, but on the wikipedia.org, uh, there is an article about Elton Musk. Now he's a financier, he started PayPal, and, and he developed, you know, private people going into space and all that. Now, I'm not sure if this guy's past would make me feel confident that this thing is going to become a reality. Um, I recall Reagan called the Soviet Union the evil empire and it's unusual that um, many people in the West have been patterning their lives after the Soviet Union or trying to compete with the social Soviet Union and doing similar things. Uh, it seems as if the Soviet Union had gone to you know, put things out in space first and uh, can we not have pursued it and so forth. With all these years now that we've been going to space exploration, is there anything concrete we have? Have we learned anything that we could live, we could colonize space or anything like that? And so, um, Soviet Union collapsed because um, it truly was an evil empire. And you know, the FBI and others, they're using some of the things that the KTP used. I understand that um, when they learned that you could sort of gain valuable information on, on people from going through the garbage, they said, what? And they said, wow, and they're trying that, go in your garbage, find you know, one of pieces, find letters that you throw away and put together a case and come and lock you up and so on. When really and truly a person is throwing things in the garbage with the confidence that it's going to the dump and that's the end of that. Now I recycle. I don't worry going to be with personal stuff, collecting checks and letters and all this stuff. I just want plastic bottles and cans. I don't want anything else. Now and then you find some other things, you know, you could use and so on. Um, and so, uh, the Soviet Union tried to start a lot of things that these folks are using and, and anybody that's using the same things that the Soviet Union has used you will end up just like the Soviet Union the KGB is gone because they were beyond the pale you know they could disappear, they could do all kinds of stuff and they felt like wow nobody could stop us but you know they're history today and so um, what even okay and so you know space travel basically was it God's intention that we should go into space? And uh, since the Soviet Union was evil empire, even Hitler and his scientists who developed rockets that could go to the moon and so forth, we already concluded, you know, he was crazy and, and um, he was in this evil thing and so forth. Now, Van Braun, the other day I hear that he's one of the noble Christians who have done some great works. And he's saying that even though you develop a technology which people can use for evil, um, it shouldn't be back on you because like how Einstein came up with the you know the EC, EMC squared and then people use that to build nuclear bombs and all that stuff you can't blame uh, him and so on but perhaps you can and now Van Braun was working with Hitler was he just a pure scientist was he innocent now they say he's a he's a he's a, uh, a Lutheran which you know started off the marching with the German church and so on but that doesn't necessarily mean that his works were kind of like godly. They're saying he's a godly man and so on. Because he pioneered, he worked on things going to the moon. You know, he didn't just make this stuff and say there's a rocket that we could use for like, maybe, um, you know, taking something from here to over there and people use it to go to the moon. He was behind the project of going to the moon and all that stuff, which the Soviet Union was doing uh, and they're gone and so on. And, and we wasted our time because microwave and cell phones and all that might have come from moon trap. But I mean, are there, uh, can we do it all these things? I mean, these phones now become such a problem with uh, productivity and people on the phone and crashing and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it modernized things. You don't have to write a letter. You don't have to wait forever to get a response from somebody, etc., etc. But let me show you why I think Elton Musk is, is, a, is a joke. Um, it, here it talks about um, Elton Musk, and I'm reading from the uh, Wikipedia. Elton Musk has stated the personal goal of eventually enabling human exploration and settlement of Mars. He stated in 2011 an interview that he hopes to send humans to Mars surface within 10 to 20 years. In June 
2013 must use the descriptor Mars Colonial Transporter to refer to the to refer to the private funded development project to design and build a space flight system of rocket engines, launch vehicles and space capsules to transport humans to Mars and to return to Earth. Now yes the Mars and return to Earth but the part he's talking about he wants to explore and settle Mars and, and I mean I don't know if you went to school or something I mean you know people saying they developed this and the company and all that stuff and you don't know people behind the scenes working with all that stuff this fellow don't seem to have any sense period because I mean the PayPal is nineteen like oh he, he developed something to cure AIDS or whatever there were already um, a whole bunch of people out there um, there was uh, Western Union and some other people that transported money and yeah he come in with the internet and he do a little thing and he got in but that don't mean that this guy is really uh, you know uh, brilliant or nothing and um, of course uh, he has um, you know raised his money and he's spending money out here but Mars and these planets are so far so cl close to the Sun or they or far from the Sun that they already forgot that Earth is just right where the temperature is not too hot or the temperature is not too cold. Look, when God came in and he organized a, 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 this planet here and, and he put humans in, he, in seven days he organized it and made it in a way that we could live. He put in water, um, air, trees, I mean, so many different things. He, he organized it so that he could have created humans uh, finally and everything is good. Now, Musk, can he do that? I mean, first of all, it's too far away. How is it going to affect the, the, the warmth and the cold on that place? How, how is it going to get things growing out there? How is it going to get water running? I mean, and so far, if you have a problem out there, uh, yeah, this guy is such a joke. So that now that he's talking about this quick movement between East Coast and West Coast, I don't believe he's going to be able to do it. And I don't think it's something practical. And there are problems. He's not God. Look, even Toyota and all these people make me because then they have to recall them because fire hazard and breaking problems and all this thing. This is human. We're, 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 we're not God. We're, we're not omniscient. We're not omnipotent. Um, we're not omnipresent. And, and, and in my life, I've made so many decisions all over the years that God could have looked at each option that was available and see the end of it and see which was best for me and he was guiding me through what would have been best but of course I took so many turns on my own that you know I'm, I'm trying to you know organize something here and so uh, he you know he's not God so I mean suppose now in this tube thing how he's gonna do it four or six people are gonna go from that thing to here how expensive is it gonna be how much money they're gonna invest that is how the fear is going to be charged you invested all this money you want to get it back in a certain time and, and, the, and the operating costs and so forth I mean why would I want to travel from uh, you know LA to New York in, in, in four or five minutes and it cost me four thousand dollars I mean there are rich people who will do that but how many of them will there be enough to sustain that and you can't bring that cost down because the initial investment and the operating costs have to be recouped within a certain time or, or only if he's God he's going to give it away or whatever that will affect the price and so um, I don't even think that you know this is something that's going to be so serious because uh, four people at a time how, how I was interval they're going suppose I one break down and, and six of them you know running and crash into that I mean this thing is so fraught with stupid stuff that I, I just feel that this guy really you know he's one of these uh, people that you know you just have to say okay man, yeah yeah that sounds good but I wouldn't even put a cent on this guy I don't even think it's gonna happen and uh, 10 to 20 years this world might be over by then the Lord would have been returned here so um, you know I, I don't know what he's talking about here